Hi there. My name is Kim Sims. For those of you who don't know me, um, I want to talk to you today about the premium starter kit that Young Living has um, to offer because, because they put together such an amazing starter pack of oils. Um, they support every, every body system that you have is supported in this one small kit of oils. Um, so that's what I'm going to talk about today. I've been wanting to do it for a while and now's the time. So in the starter kit, in the premium starter kit, you get a diffuser. You can choose between the dew drop diffuser and the desert mist diffuser. Um, I have one of each and you know, the desert mist, it's got more settings on it. So that is the one that I recommend to people most often, but you know, if, if somebody wants a simple one, simple that doesn't do all the lights and the extra settings, the dew drop diffuser is totally fine. And that's the one I use in my boys um, in their bedroom area. And that works totally fine for us too. Uh, but I love them both. And you know, the desert mist diffuser has more options. So that's absolutely, um, that's typically what I re recommend. So to, to talk to you about the oils that are in the kit, um, like I said, they really cover the gamut as far as uh, the body systems that they support. Um, when I started out with oils, I started out, I kind of came in kicking and screaming. I w it was not something that, that I was interested in. Um, I was introduced um, several times by my brother-in-law and sister-in-law, and it just, just, just didn't think it was for me. Um, you know, the smelly things, the candles, the that sort of thing was just not my jam and perfumes usually gave me headaches and um, so I didn't think it was for me. But after an aha moment, after I went to a class just to be supportive, to go with my mother-in-law and, and just to, you know, be supportive, I came home with all these oils on and my sensitive to smells kid uh, who was having a meltdown calmed down. And that was when I figured out that Okay, there's there's something to this stuff. It's not just smells and and a passing fad. It this was there was something to this. Um, so um, so that's what I'm going to talk to you about today. I'm going to jump right into these oils. Um, the first one that I'm going to talk to you about is lavender essential oil. Now this, like I said, smells are not my favorite thing. So lavender was not was not my favorite oil to begin with, and to be perfectly honest, it's not my favorite scent in the kit by far, um, but it does so many good things for my family that it's just hard not to use it. Um, I use it every day. My family uses it every day in some shape or form. Um, so lavender goes in my boys diffuser every night along with a couple other oils and I'll talk about those next. So lavender, lemon, peppermint go in my boys diffuser every single night. We live in an old farmhouse and um, it gets a little musty and, and they're teenagers now. So just, you know, gross. <laughs> so lavender, lemon, peppermint, it helps them calm down. It helps them to clear their minds. It helps them, uh, oh, the, the peppermint and it helps open their airways. Um, and I use lavender, lemon, peppermint every day. Uh, when I go to work, I put it in my diffuser and it helps helps me to focus, helps get the cobwebs out of my brain. So night or day, Lavender, lemon, peppermint are definitely the go-tos at our house. Um, lavender, I mean, so I'm going to go to the website. If you go to youngliving.com, um, if you're not yet a member or if you are, you go to youngliving.com and you go to the search bar at the top and you type in uh, a product name that you're interested in. Uh, so I'm going to type in lavender and I'm going to scroll down a little ways and um, you can see that there's a product snapshot an ingredients list, a suggested usage, suggested uses list, a get to know and a related context. So there's a lot of information on each one of these oils right on the website. Um, and I'm just gonna go over it with you so that I don't miss anything and so that you're getting um, the information that you want without having to go there just this minute in case you're driving or on the move or, or busy. So um, lavender, the product snapshot of lavender says it may help cleanse and soothe minor skin irritations. It can be soothing to the skin after a day on the sun. It may help reduce the appearance of blemishes and it supports aging skin. And there's a ton of other information on there as well. So I encourage you to go there and check it out. Um, so yesterday I went kayaking with my sons and, and my husband and my oldest son chose not to use sunscreen. And, you know, he was a little red in the face at the end of the day. So, you know, I put a drop 
of the oil. Sometimes you gotta, there's not a whole lot left in this one, but sometimes you gotta give it a little bit of a, a tap and it'll come out a little faster. Otherwise, if you just hold it and be patient, it will come out. And I rub it in my hands and then I just press it on our skin. You wanna be careful not to get it in your eyes because it, it'll just be sensitive. I mean, it's, it's not going to feel good. Um, the other thing that I do with lavender is uh, sometimes I get bumps, pimples in my inside my ear. Now you never want to put essential oils inside your ear canal, but it's absolutely okay to put it on your skin and then rub it on, you know, put it on your finger and rub it onto your skin wherever you need, your skin needs a little help. Um, my oldest uh, some years ago when we were camping, went walking through the weeds and he came back and he was all, his skin was all irritated and we put lavender on it and uh, um, it helped just like that. So uh, in, in our family, that's what we use it for. We use it for skin. We use it for calming. We use it for relaxing. Um, we use it in our diffusers. Um, we use lavender. It, like, again, like I said, it, it wasn't my favorite scent to begin with. And you know, still wouldn't be my first choice of a scent, but it's an amazing oil and they call it the Swiss Army knife of oils. So if you're not sure what to do with your oils, use lavender, just put it on and see what happens for you. And I think that you'll be pleasantly surprised. So um, I mentioned briefly peppermint. Uh, this particular bottle is peppermint vitality. Now, Young Living labels their oils in two different ways. This one is labeled vitality. That's what comes in the kit. And this one is the regular version of peppermint. Now, the reason that they do that is so that people can tell the difference between between oils that are safe for inter internal use and oils that are to be used topically or aromatically. Um, so the difference between them, the oils themselves are exactly the same. They label them separately so that consumers, so that the FDA knows that the consumers know that um, that there is an internally safe oil to use. Like I said, it is the same exact oil inside the bottle. It's just labeled that way for clarity. So um, so topically, the, the appropriate bottle to use is this one. Internally, the, the appropriate bottle to use is this one. We use peppermint. I use peppermint in my water. Sometimes um, I'll put peppermint in a spray bottle with water or witch hazel and uh, spray it on me if I need to cool off. You know, if I'm if I'm overheated, um, it does help cool you off, especially, uh, so my son rides a uh, motorcycle. He races motocross. And uh, when he lets me, I will spray him a little bit with a little peppermint and it will cool his skin off. Um, like I said, he's a little sensitive to smells and lemon is his favorite. Um, and he, typically he's gonna choose lemon over any of the rest of them. And what's nice about, um, Young Living Oils is they're very versatile. So just because I'm telling you that, that lavender is calming to you uh, or to me, um, it might be that you find peppermint calming to you or lemon calming to you. Uh, lemon is my go-to for my youngest because that is the scent that he prefers. Whether he's um, having a hard night and having a hard time sleeping, whether he's a little anxious during the day, um, whether you know, it, it doesn't seem to matter what, it, if he is in need of something, lemon is always his first choice. And, you know, more often than not, that really does the, does the trick for him. You know, oftentimes if it's a skin issue, it'll be uh, lavender and he'll use that one as well. Uh, but it, it's nice that the oils are versatile and it seems like your body knows what to do with the oils and takes what it needs from the oils. And, and it can do that because it's a natural product. Um, so on to lemon. Oh, did I tell you about, I did not tell you about the constituents in peppermint. So I'm going to go to the site so that you uh, can see. Um, so peppermint, the regular peppermint now is what I'm looking up. And it uh, cools fatigued muscles after physical activity. So if you exercise, if you walk, if you ride bike, um, it may feel good on your muscles afterwards. Um, and I understand that if you use it before you exercise, it may help your performance in exercise. It just helps your muscles do uh, better things um, and, and operate more efficiently. Um, 
So it also produces a focused environment when diffused. And if you remember, I said that I use lavender, lemon, and peppermint in my diffuser at work. And that's exactly why it helps me focus, helps get the cobwebs out of my brain, um, and helps me, um, it just helps me concentrate and get through my morning a lot more quickly and easily and, and smoothly, I think. Um, it also provides a refreshing experience when mixed with your favorite shampoo or when applied to skin after a warm day in the sun. Um, and creates an invigorating and refreshing experience when inhaled. Uh, peppermint is amazing in that way. Opens the airwaves. It makes your house smell fresh and, and clean. And uh, so that's a fantastic oil. So on to lemon. I want to make sure that I tell you about lemon. So like I said, lemon is my youngest son's favorite oil. Now lemon and a lot of the citrus oils are considered photosensitive. So I'm going to go to the website again and um, and I will, whoops, click the wrong button. And um, it says right in there, because citrus oils can cause photosensitivity, avoid applying lemon or any other citrus oils to exposed skin before spending time outside. Now, my son would, he would put lemon all over his chest. If he's having he needs to open his airways he would prefer lemon to peppermint and that really helps him in that way but if he's going to be outside without his shirt or you know or he wants to put it on his neck and go outside i'll be careful to put it on his feet instead or on his ankles or somewhere that the sun isn't going to hit or even on his tummy if he's going to leave his shirt on we'll put it on his tummy um because then he can still get the smell, get the benefit of it. And um, incidentally, it's good on your tummy if uh, things aren't working quite right and your tummy needs a little you know, a little digestive help, I guess is the right word. Um, so that's fantastic for that as well. Um, so again, um, photosensitivity is uh, a, a term that talks about when you're out in the sun. It, so it may cause you to burn I, that was not my experience with it. Uh, so I used um, Stress Away, and I'm gonna talk about that a little bit later, but I used Stress Away on, on my neck. When I first started using oils, I would put Stress Away on my wrist and wipe it across my neck. And that's all great and fine, but months later, I didn't you know, realize that, that there was any issue. Months later, I noticed that there was a mark across my neck and I didn't know what it was from. I didn't realize um, that it was connected in this way. I learned much later, realized much later that it was. So I went to the dermatologist and the dermatologist didn't know what it was. It looked like an age spot. It didn't, it, it didn't look like a sunburn. It, it looked like an age spot. It was darker here um, and noticeable to me. And if you paid attention, you could see it, but not anything drastic. Just noticeable really um so the dermatolo dermatologist said well i don't know what it is if you want we can try and bleach it chemically bleach it so that it will um lighten back up again but you know i don't know what that's going to do and i said yeah you know I'm, I'm a little vain but i'm not vain enough to want to put chemicals on my neck even at the time when i didn't realize how how chemicals can affect your other body symptoms systems i didn't feel like it was necessary for me to do that. I said, I'll just keep an eye on it. And if it changes, I'll let you know. Well, it was one months later when I happened to be putting oil, I was standing in front of the mirror, putting oil on and I did this and I realized it was in the exact same spot that this, that this age spot was. And uh, so I stopped putting my oil there and instead I put it on my stomach or over my heart or wherever. And um, over time, it, it faded away. There was, there's no residual marks, anything left. Uh, so just, just be careful if you're going to use your oils before you go out in the sun that you, uh, cover your skin, either, you know, clothing or, um, something like that, or, or just put them in a place where the sun's not going to see it. So, so that you are, make sure that you're safe with your skin. Uh, the next oil that I'm going to talk about in the kit is Valor. Valor is, um, is also an amazing oil. It's one that we use practically daily in my house. I will, um, it's got an amazing, now this is a scent that I really like. It's, it's not flowery. It's more of a, um, more a manly smell to me, I guess. Um, I'm going to look this one up so that I can tell you, 
about Valor from the website. The website is going to listen to me. Here we go. Um, so it may enhance the appearance of healthy looking skin. It's a very great oil for your skin. Offers skin beautifying benefits when combined with Young Living's Art Light Moisturizer. It improves the appearance of skin when applied topically, enhances massage for a rejuvenating experience. Um, it features a spicy, sweet, positive aroma that inspires confidence and courage. So if I can, I'll try and sneak it on my son before his motocross races, give him a little extra boost of confidence. I really think it makes a difference for him. I will use Valor down my spine, all the way down my spine, and it helps me between my chiropractor appointments. So one thing that I, um, that I learned just by chance, I had heard that Valor might be good for uh, snoring, for my husband snores a lot. Um, and so I had tried, you know, when, when he's already sleeping, I can't get it on his feet because his feet are under the covers. I tried putting it on his neck and that didn't really seem to, you know, sometimes it would, sometimes it wouldn't make a difference. But the one night, the only spot that I could reach on him, he was all covered up. The only spot I could reach was his ear. I put it on his ear and it worked just like that. And I don't know why, I don't know. I, you know, and I thought, well, this is a fluke. I'm gonna try it again the next time on his ear. And uh, it seems like every time I use it on his ear, he stops his snoring. Every time I use it on his chest, it's all, it's touch and go. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I don't know, take that for what it's worth. Um, but anyway, for my husband, it's the ears. So, and you know, maybe he just likes it when I massage his ears, I don't know. <laughs> Um, so the next one on the list is, uh, or in the kit is Peace and Calming. Now well, Peace and Calming has a very sweet smell to me. It's a candy-like smell to me. And I'm going to look it up so I can tell you what's in that. And um, so it is a gentle, sweet blend of ylang ylang, orange, tangerine, patchouli, and blue tansy. And it is, it says it may help with the appearance of skin when applied topically, has a comforting fresh aroma and freshens the air when diffused. It offers a peaceful environment for yoga and meditation. So peace and calming for me is kind of a lot to take in. I, I had mentioned that I'm, uh, I'm kind of sensitive to smells. So it's a lot for me. I will use it. I will absolutely use it because it does just what it says, but I will put it here or on my feet and, so that I don't have to be smelling it quite so much. Um, my kids like it, <coughs> excuse me. It's, you know, a lot of people use it uh, and diffuse it around their kids and it kind of helps um, calming and centering for their kids. So um, that is an amazing oil too. Uh, so let's see, frankincense is next on my list. Uh, in the kit and frankincense is it when I first got my kit it was not one of my favorite scents um, but now I would have to say that it is near the top of my list so it seems like um, I have uh, heard that if there is an oil that you don't care for the scent of you need to have it you, your body needs it <sighs> So frankincense for me is very grounding, it's very calming, and it's very, it very much makes me feel um, safe, I guess. It's a, it's a safe feel. It feels like a hug to me. It feels like a hug in a bottle. Um, so I'm going to tell you what it says on the website. It says it promotes the appearance of healthy looking skin, may help reduce the appearance of uneven skin tones, has a sweet honey-like woodsy fragrance, and a stimulating aroma. Um, so now frankincense is a more expensive oil and because of that, I didn't ever want to waste it by putting it in the diffuser. So in my opinion, I needed to have it close to me and on my body to get the benefits of it. And it wasn't until, I don't know, maybe a year ago that I, I was traveling in my car and, um, there was kind of a lot going on and I've got a small car diffuser and I put it, I put just a drop or maybe it was two drops of frankincense in there and it's a very small diffuser and I tell you what it is the most amazing experience if you haven't tried frankincense in a diffuser try it today because it's it's awesome it's awesome it's awesome so the other thing I'm going to tell you about frankincense 
Um, oh, it's, well, I'm going to move on to Panaway here next so that I can tell you the other thing about frankincense so that I don't forget. Uh, so Panaway also comes in the starter kit. And Panaway, I love the scent of it. always have. I smell wintergreen when I smell Panaway. And you may get from the name of Panaway what it was developed for. So um, Gary Young, who developed the oils, he didn't develop any of the oils for a profit. He developed them for a purpose. And um, over time, the FDA got involved and they say you can't make claims that that, that use these products to diagnose, treat, or cure anything. Um, but the, the name for the oil stuck because it is not, you know, you, you may infer from it what, what they meant from it. But what I'll tell you, the website says, is that it offers a refreshing, stimulating aroma. It cools the skin after physical activity. So also good after exercise um, on your muscles. Provides a cooling sensation when applied to the shoulders, neck, and scalp. And includes naturally occurring in constituents, methyl salicylate, nope, salicylate, gamma circamine, and menthol and eugenol. So it's it's refreshing, sweet, minty aroma. And um, so I tried it on my joints, thinking um, you know all of the claim to fame that Panaway has that that it might help me in that regard. And for me, I think I had different issues than the people that I had heard the things from, and it didn't do it for me. So I was a little disappointed in this oil to begin with, and it was not one that I used on a regular basis until recently. So recently, with what's going on in the world, uh, I was watching too much news, and it was causing me, um, you know, to panic a little, freak out. <laughs> anxiety I don't know I don't know how else to describe it um uh but I was watching too much and I was I was feeling heart flutters is what I was feeling and um and I I could not put that into words until I was uh checking out a Facebook site and somebody was talking that about heart flutters and I thought well that's just what it is you know I thought well my heart is racing well it's not really racing it's not really you know I just feel strange um, and so this person who posted on this Facebook page, um, and once you're in Young Living, um, you, we can plug you into all of these amazing sites where people share their experiences and, and how they use oils in their family. Um, and we can learn lots of things and, and try them to see how they work for ourselves. So she was talking about heart flutters that she was getting because of what was going on in the world. And um, she used Panaway and frankincense over her heart and so I tried that because I was I was having similar issues and it it worked. It worked and I felt calm, I felt centered, and and so I, you know, everybody's body is different. Everybody's body has a different chemical makeup. Um, you know, but I encourage you to try it and see, you know, how it works. See what it does for you and let me know. So that's my story with Frank Frankincense and Panaway. The next oil that I'm going to talk to you about in the kit is Thieves. Thieves is an amazing oil. If you don't know the story behind Thieves, look it up. Um, if you Google Young Living Thieves oil, you're going to find um, what they talk about, uh, about the Black Plague and uh, what happened back then. And that Thieves was developed um, as part of... Um, Part of that story was was how thieves came into existence thieves oil came into existence so look that up absolutely uh, so thieves regular thieves so i'm going to read to you both of the th both of the properties on the regular thieves and the thieves vitality so the regular thieves essential oil says that then it includes naturally incurring constituents um and i'll let you look those up um but it is cleansing when applied topically. It, it aromatically and neutralizes and purifies the air from strong odors when diffused, and it freshens any atmosphere when diffused. Um, it has a vibrant, spicy cinnamon aroma. Um, <clears throat> when I diffuse it at work, I have, you know, delivery guys come in and they'll tell me that it smells like Christmas. And, you know, the guys really seem to enjoy the scent of, of Thieves. So now I'm going to tell you about the constituents in Thieves Vitality. And again, 
when I tell you about the constituents in the oils, Vitality oil and the regular topical aromatic oil, same oil inside the bottle. So just telling you that. So now what we can say about Thieves Vitality is that the features and benefits are immune system support, cleansing to the digestive, to the digestive system, antioxidant properties, and general wellness support. So thieves, 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 thieves. I put thieves on my boy's feet. I, um, if it helps, um, I put thieves directly under my tongue. If I need a little bit of boost in my immune system, um, if, if I'm at work and somebody down the hall starts to cough, I'll just put a drop under my tongue. Um, sometimes too, depending on what's going on and, and what's, what's going on in the world. Uh, but we put thieves on our feet. We put thieves under our tongue. You can put thieves in tea with uh, lemon and honey, and uh, that will help soothe um, a scratchy throat. And, uh, you know, it's good for your immune system as well. So all the thieves, no reason not to do all the thieves. So the next oil in the kit I'm going to talk about is citrus fresh. I love citrus fresh. Um, it is, again, it's a photo sensitive oil because it has several citrus oils in it, uh, but it's very uplifting. It's a happy oil for me. It, it makes me very happy. It's a happy, happy oil. So the regular citrus fresh has an appealing citrusy fresh aroma, purifies the air from unwanted odor, odors, and it has an invigorating and uplifting scent. Absolutely absolutely a must have at my house. I have teenagers and, you know, boys and, you know, girls. So <laughs> citrus fresh is an amazing oil for that. Um, oops, I was going to go to the citrus fresh vitality so I can tell you about that because I love to use citrus fresh vitality in my jackhammer juice. I'm drinking my jackhammer juice now and And citrus fresh is my favorite in there. I'll also use lemon vitality. I'll also use grapefruit vitality. But citrus fresh contains orange, tangerine, grapefruit, lemon, mandarin, and spearmint. And I think it's a spearmint that gives it the little extra kick that I like so much. Um, so it's, it's features and benefits of the citrus fresh vitality is that it contains antioxidant properties. It support, supports overall wellness and it has cleansing properties. And, you know, we've all got stuff in us because we, we eat things that we shouldn't eat and we, you know, our bodies soak in things um, that we shouldn't have in our bodies. So it, it's a very good cleansing essential oil to use in your water or in your drink or in your food if you want to um, spice something up. Um, I use it in dips. I use lemon in dips. Um, it, it's amazing. I have a cucumber dill dip that's amazing with lemon and citrus fresh would also be great in that as well. Um, so there are naturally occurring constituents in it called limonene and carvone. Again, and you can find all of this information right on the Young Living website. Um, so go there if you need a little bit more information on that or let me know. The next oil in the kit that I'm going to tell you about is Raven. Now, Raven is um, a newer oil to me. It was not in the starter kit when I started. Um, the oil that was in the starter kit when I started was Purification, and I can't be without that one either. That's an awesome oil. So um, if you need an oil outside of the starter kit, absolutely um, give Purification a try. And uh, But uh, Raven, I'm going to tell you about now has a cool minty eucalyptus aroma. I absolutely smell the eucalyptus when I smell Raven. And it's it's fantastic for opening your air. It's a great, it's a great oil. It makes me want to breathe deeper. So it's funny because, uh, so here's what it says. It can be diffused or in inhaled directly for a refreshing respiratory experience. And it may be used as part of your exercise routine to help promote the sensation of deeper breathing. So all good, all good. So it might be a good oil to put like on the outside. If you're having to wear a mask when you're going out in public or to work, um, to put it on the outside of your mask and it might help help you take a deeper breath and, and try and get more oxygen. I know that these masks are, are seem like they're inhibiting our, our oxygen intake and this may help you to... Um, to increase your deep breathing sensation. So give that a try. 
Uh, the next oil in the kit that I'm going to talk about is Digize or Digize, depending on how you want to um, how you want to pronounce it. Now, a lot of people, a lot of people do not care for the scent of Digize, and I was one of those people when we first started using it. But Digize, we're going to look that one up so I tell you the the right things about it. Digize Vitality is uh, helps support and cleanse the digestive system. It has a it is a great companion for essential signs for when taken with meals to support your wellness regimen and includes antioxidant properties. So amazing. So I'm gonna tell you a story. Um, my oldest son, when he was in the fourth grade, he's now in um, going into ninth grade, but when he was in the fourth grade, he missed his fourth grade chorus concert because he was doubled over in pain. We didn't know we didn't know if he was having an appendicitis or it was his nerves or what it was. I ended up taking him to the emergency room and what it ended up being was um, he was constipated. So yeah, nobody likes to talk about that sort of thing, but it it's, you know, everybody, maybe not everybody, a lot of people deal with it off and on. So, um, so in order to get his, his systems moving again, the doctor suggested lots of fruit, prune juice, um, you know, watermelon, and he's not a watermelon fan. I know a lot of kids, and that's probably why he's not a watermelon fan because he had to try and eat so much of it at that time. So, and we made him drink prune juice until he threw up because, you know, he was in so much pain, he couldn't stand up straight. So when he threw up, he, it started moving in both directions. And um, to try and get a fourth grader to drink more prune juice after that is about non, it's just not gonna happen. So um, so I started uh, researching what might help him and Digize came up on the, on the information, the, the reference guide that I was looking through. And when I look up regular Digize, and Digize Vitality, the Vitalities weren't available when we started using oils. Um, but when we look up regular Digize, it says it has an herbaceous, spicy scent, provides a comforting and aromatic experience when applied topically, and has a calming aroma. So again, I told you that I didn't care for the scent. Uh, and, and the part that I don't care for is it contains anise, which is like black licorice, and patchouli, which is not a favorite scent of mine, but it also contains tarragon, ginger, peppermint, juniper, fennel, and lemongrass. And um, I would, I would, I don't think I'd be too far out the zone if I said it is the stinkiest oil that comes in the kit. However, my child will tell you that it is his favorite oil in the kit because he knows what it does for him and he used it so often and it was better than drinking prune juice. So um, that being said, so he has a problem where he, where he gets constipated, but my husband has a problem where things go a little too loosely a lot of the time. And so he'll use the same oil in the same way. He'll use the Digize, uh, regular Digize on his, you know, just rub it on his belly. In fact, we put a roller top on it. And this is the one he took to camp when he went to camp last year. And we just refill the bottle because it's got the roller top on it. And it's nice to have it just in the car, in my bag. I, I, it's very seldom that I go any very far without it. Um, so we use Digize Vitality for him. I use it for myself. Um, Archer, he does not care for the smell at all. So he will use lemon instead, and that seems to do the trick for him. So if you really can't take the scent of the Digize, uh, try the lemon on your belly, um, the, le the regular lemon, and, and and you may find that it does similar things for you, for your digestive system. But again, we get used to the cell. In fact, my mom uh, will diffuse this, uh, the regular Digize uh, in her diffuser and you know, I've come to, I, I don't mind it at all in diffusers. So it's funny because um, an oil may smell differently diffused than it smells on your skin. And it may smell differently on your skin than it does on your child's skin or your spouse's skin. So it's funny how the chemical constituent in your body works differently with the oils um, themselves. So, so that is that. And uh, the last one I think that I haven't talked about yet is stress away. Um, and this is the one I said that I had used on my neck, but 
and there's a reason you know you use it on your neck because it is it does exactly what it says it is a stress away oil it's also a very sweet smelling oil so it's good with uh, most most people are really good with the smell um very uh very much like like candy i think so it's sweet uh let me see and it includes uh let's see can be applied topically as a personal fragrance formulated with lime lavender cedar wood and other pure essential oils for a well-rounded and relaxing aroma promotes relaxation and a calming environment absolutely yep absolutely so it's great in the diffuser it's great on it's great it's just great. It's a great all around oil. But again, be careful if you're going to go out in the sun with it because it is a photosensitive oil. Um, so those are the, the oils in the kit. And those are the ones that we use. Like I say, we use the majority of them on a regular basis, on a daily basis. Absolutely. The best bang for your buck is to get the kit. Um, if you want some suggestions for outside of the kit, the ones that I use on a regular basis outside of the kit or bergamot that is my happy oil that is um the oil when aunt flo comes around once a month <laughs> that's that's the one that i use i put that right on my belly i'll put it on my neck i'll put it all over the place for my own benefit and for everyone else's benefit around me uh purification oops purification like i said that came in the starter kit when i started out and with supply constraints they took that out of the kit and, and put in uh, Raven, I believe, at the time. Um, purification is what I use in my laundry. You know, if the laundry, if the, the the laundry has stayed in the washing machine a little bit too long after it washed, it gets that little funky smell. I put some in a spray bottle with water and I spray it in there and I throw it in the dryer and, you know, I'll put half the clothes in and then I'll spray it again and put the rest of the clothes in. And by the time they're dry, the funky smell is gone. So that is one I could not be without either. I put it in shoes. I put it, I use it, I, I use it as a deodorant. I I don't, it's it's an amazing oil. It gets rid of, let me, let me just look this one up for you because, because if you're looking for something to add to your order, uh, this is absolutely one to, to use. It produces a clean, invigorating aroma. It uh, clears the air of unwanted odors. I love it in the diffuser. Freshens musty and stale areas with its lively scent. Contains lavender, an ingredient that helps clean and purify the air. It's just a good oil to have. Um, some of the other oils that I use on a regular basis. So these are oils that I typically use on a weekday basis when I go to work, when I've got, you know, more people around, it's more people-y and I got to deal with stress and, and all of that. So sacred mountain kind of helps me feel like i'm in a place in a safe place and um you know even with stuff going on around me it feels like you know everything's going to be okay and white angelica is like having it's like having an angel on your shoulder um white angelica is the only oil that i have ever opened up that i felt the need the desire to put here and and i don't know a lot about chakras and third eyes and all of that but but this oil always goes here and it is the only oil that i've ever felt the urge to do that with so um absolutely every weekday sometimes weekends but absolutely i don't go with to work without it so it's a great oil to have they're, they're both great oils to have i've got plenty more where that came from and a lot of the oils i got i got for free um I'll use this month. There's some amazing, um, there's some amazing, uh, free oils that you can get as well. So check out, check out those free oils. Some of them are good for cooking. Some of them are good. Even the cooking oils are good for your body systems. So look them up and check them out. And if you have questions about them, absolutely give me a call, send me a message and let me know. And you can go right to Young Living's website. Um, and put in the product name and and it'll tell you what what it might help with and uh, again all the oils are very versatile and very helpful in in lots of ways and i think i don't know if i said at the beginning of the video or not so i'm going to do it again if i didn't um in the starter kit you get these 12 oils but you also get a sample of ninja red um comes in a pouch like this you get samples of that 
you will get samples of the Thieves Household Cleaner. It's amazing. It is the only cleaner that we use in our house anymore uh, because it doesn't have synthetic nasty chemicals that are going to cause you problems down the road. And I believe you also get hand sanitizer um, in the kit now as well. Um, they do change things around a little. They were having some supply constraints with the plastic bottles that they were using to put the, um, the hand sanitizer in. So I think it's coming in pouches temporarily, at least until they get their supply of their bottles back again. But um, it's absolutely the best bang for your buck. There are other ways to sign up with Young Living, but if, if oils is, you know, something in your wheelhouse or something that you feel like you need extra support uh, that you just can't get in other ways, this is absolutely the way to do it. And um, so give me a call if you have questions or call whoever signed you up and they will help you out as well. So um, I see this is getting a little bit long, so I'm gonna sign off for now. If you have questions, let me know. We'll talk to you soon, bye.